<laughs> or remember, George, there's a possibility I could okay. turn the odds in the favour of John by planting an egg on your premises. I've never heard you call yourself John before. I, I, I've never ever heard you call, call yourself anything other than Bronco. I never called myself. I've had it anyway. I mean, I, I know, I know that this, this could be my last year. I'm just hanging on, you know. It's, uh, well, let, get, let go. What are you hanging on for? <laughs> go with things. No use hanging on to anything. Well, that's what I was trying to explain to you about the rainbow connection. Just leave it alone, it will come about. Yes, well, it's. It has its own volition. It's, it's well, I think you've sent it on its way. Then it's doing its work. Yeah, well, you've still got to set up the organisation oh, yeah, selling I membership cards. don't want to understand that. We want to lose money altogether. This is part of the manifesto. There's no particular point in losing yours or mine. No. Or anybody else's. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Well, let it happen. Just don't get involved with it. I'm involved with it to the tune of over 20,000 quid. Well, that's all you're you hung up on money. You don't get rid of money. I, I've got the only to... money you're getting rid of is your own. It's not my own. I haven't got it. It's well, just... other people's own. Even worse. No, it's just an illusion. It's, it's, um... What do you think of Frankie Howard to George? He was on the telly tonight. Was he? Uh, this sort of royal performance. Oh, that said, old... Um... He said, pretend you're at a working man's club. And, uh... Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I like him, yeah. I, I don't like the other one. There's another, there's another man that looks like him, but it's not him. He's just like Frankie. I always get mixed up between the two. But there's another one that's sort of... Sort of like a sort of pseudo, sort of cocky, sort of... Um, down our street, kind of, sort of, uh, it's always going on about the good old days, you know, sort of, uh, sort of, cockney, sort of, that is. London, sort of, uh, and it's not Frankie Yard, it's another one who, who looks a bit like him, sort of, tall. France is very, very, uh, I mean, tell who Francis Howard is. I mean, you can't throw that, pity to not be afflicted. They have his pianist on with them, the lady at the piano. No. Vera Lynn, Cliff Richard, Pearl Kahn, Teddy Johnson, Lita Rosa, Dennis Lotus. Doesn't say for Cliff Richard wasn't bad, Cliff Richard was on. Well, it's it. It's this week is, is 40 years. 40 years in the wilderness. That's exactly what it's called. Oh, Vera Lynn, that's right. Vera Lynn, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. One could say 40 years in the wilderness quite easily. Do you think it's someone pretending to be Vera Lynn? It, I mean, it can't be. Have you ever watched Vera Lynn? She never gets a, never seems to think, she must be at least a hundred years old. She doesn't, she doesn't look any older or any different. It must be her daughter pretending to be her. I don't believe it's Vera Lynn at all. She must be about a thousand years old. Well, I don't, I don't see her. I've got no evidence. How can she sort of stay young like that? She must be at least a hundred. No, Now, there's another comedian uh, who looks very much like Frankie Hardy. He's, he's big and sort of no one looks like Frankie Howard. Frankie Howard is Frankie Howard. Peter oh, Cook is Peter Cook. It's <laughs> probably there and then, doing it all these years. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Lisa Rosa. I like her. Very much. Well, I'm going to take these pimentos. Sorry to bore you, uh, 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 Peter. No, yeah, not at all. But you're never going to believe this one. You're never going to believe this. Guess who I met a few days ago? I went into this fish and chip shop. Honestly, I went into this fish and chip shop to get a bag to get some bag of chips. And a voice said, "Would you like a cup of tea?" And I turned around, and in the corner was Norman Wisdom with, with a lady. Oh, really? And, and he bought me a plate for the chips as well. Oh, good friend. And, uh, and I said to the bloke in the fish, "Do you think that was Norman Wisdom?" He said, "Well, you look like him." And uh, so I, I said to this lady, "I said, I said all comedians are mainly depressive." So, and she said, "No, they're not." She said, "Some." Well, I said, "My friend of mine said that." I didn't say that. Norman either. Wisdom wouldn't buy you anything. It wasn't normal wisdom at all. I don't believe it. You're quite right. Is this? <laughs> he's very small and, and he was very smartly dressed, but he's very serious. He's just, he's not like he is in films. He's very serious yeah, and quiet. Not. He wasn't that quiet if he piped up and said, said do you want to buy it? Well, he, he wasn't that quiet, but... Where was this? In the, in, 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 in the fish and chip shop. Which fish and chip? Down Bounce Park. I don't believe it. was. Yeah. He had, he had a brown suit on. Nice. I don't think he's got a brown suit. Well, you have the same one. Sounds very much like him. That was normal with Highly polished shoes. Well, he, he looked pretty smart. Uh, there was a, a dark-haired lady. She was quite nice. Sort of dark-haired. Hold on, you got your plate, please. 
Oh, bread as well. Oh, I've got to take my bread away as well. Thanks for the beans. Not at all. Mark X first to win for five, I think. Would you? Yeah. What, draw my favour? Oh, you oh, oh that, then home win, no bet. <laughs> I'm taking, you can take any one of the three results. I'll take a draw. You, you take Spurs, I'll take a draw. And home win, no bet. Home win, no bet. Right, OK, that's my life. Oh, you two, please. Good night. I think, I think you're very good. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Good night, Peter. All right. Good night. Why do you have any mouth? I usually drive people away.